Mid Lane, and they have this anti mage, nearly 10,000 net worth ahead of Mason's Fed. Yeah, it's really nice that they have, you know, the Death Prophet, Crypt Swarm, plus the Magnus uh, Shockwave to be able to stall it. They do try, try to make in. the go here. They've got the Ice Blast, they do have the stun, but again, the False Promise is there. He had the self fuels trying to get himself out. This should be enough damage, but 11 comes yeah. in with a 3 man RP! And the point. Here comes the shot! Triple kill for Arme! Mason puts the BKB, tries to tap with the heels, bringing the back up to full life. Bobo looking to get off the epicenter, he's done, but he's down. Arme gets the ultra, he's looking for the rampage, but for him, sprouts him back. They're gonna TP out. They get the silence. silence, he's gone for the rampage. Can he get the rampage? He can! Arme playing out of his mind, the team around him going absolutely insane. LGD. Liquid. Take a hell of a team fight and the full set of racks mid as well. Everyone is dead. Morphling can't defend this because he doesn't have shotgun. You're not afraid of him right now. They're just going to go on the other side. And because of that arcane rune, in less than 20 seconds, they're going to have access to the beginning. Armado comes in. What? All right. He just comes in and deletes three of the heroes of Liquid. And now he's looking for more. He's got the homing missile. Matuma Man's got to run. He'll decide to use up Arme himself to try and hold Arme back, but he's back into the, the gyrocopter. And just like that, Arme strikes back and he's going to be able to take that one as well. That has got to be an insane amount of XP and gold there going into... This is a, a bit of a late reaction. They're going to go for this though. They're going to look for the ink sort of pop. They get the kill to here. Out onto God King. The Requiem comes down. The BKB has been popped here by Arme. Oh. Once again, they get the kill on a Chalice. So Felix, they've looked over at Y. They take out Somnus. Arme with the Ultra Kill. All of a sudden, he'll go for the Illusion. That doesn't count as a Rampage, Arme. It would have had to be the kill out onto X Nova, which he can still get. He's going to blink over and find himself X Nova and it get had to the, be the Rampage. Crit. It had to be the crit. Well, the going into the Lincolns. Things have felt right here for LGD, and they just start to take advantage. But coming over is Setsu, Lanham. Oh, the Centaur! Well, get the hoof stomp out, that dominated Centaur, and now behind them, maybe all by himself, and Fiend's Grip comes out, they'll get the kill on the Setsu, and maybe he is doomed up. We'll see if he's able to survive, trying to run away, and the Sunder to keep him alive! The Glimpse back into the Static Storm and Omni Slash. I don't end up killing him. I don't have the Sunder here for the Terrible, but the Impale comes in. And that Sunder save was for nothing. Chase on AFY. The Shrine is available. Chasing him to the Shrine is uh, Don't Do That 101. And is just dead again. Moving up to the high ground with no regard for your own life. And now they've got the Nightmare on to Monet, who will Blade Fury away, but will he even escape? They get the kill on the Afu. They've got the Malphys. Fissure comes in. Ame behind him. Echo Slam comes out. It will get a kill here on the FY, but down goes Monet. And after all is said and done, well, they've got Setsu back alive, but it was... They're on top of both of them. Chalice, he's popped Somnus. He's now surrounded. FY does come in, does get the Doom down onto XXS. As XXS will surely fall, Arme turning up, but look at the speed of this man. Gets tossed forward as well. Arme zipping around oh here on the Bloodseeker. Picks up the double, gets the triple, getting Q as well. That'll be an ultra killer. Buyback is there from Baboka. He's seeping across the shot. He knows Somnus is low. He wants to try and fight it. Arme with the BKB, BKB. down though. The blood right out. He looks towards aggressor, getting the bashes, killing off the Spectre. Spectre punch. That's the rampage for Arme. What? And into the trees. Give him the double. Oh there God. it is. Double rampage for Arme. XX says Frostbitten held down. Could it be a triple rampage? Yes, it's a it could. A triple <laughs> rampage for Army. You have Storm, you have Io, even Pierre with the blink strike. It's very mobile. Now yeah. they have five top. They want to look for another fight. But why? Yeah, he just do it pretty quick because the BKB is going to come for Ame on this courier. So now he's got the BKB. They can turn this if they want to. And that's exactly why? what they're going to do. Double shine. Hitting the kill on the Evo. They'll take a fly fly. Ame going buck wild here. The change. GG. Yeah, GG. Oh, oh, oh my god. LGG. LGG just dismantled them. Man, like, it was. It was that kind of answers our question as to how the landing matchup's going to go here. It's just, uh, it seems like Razor. Perfectly fine in dealing with these parts, especially with the chain from that passive. But, but if we're asking out on X Nova again, he's gonna go with the banishment, throw out some of that poison. 
And uh, they'll turn their attention. Ame wants to chase him down. We'll turn his attention now over onto DY. Lance the Impale. Uh oh, it's not looking very good right now for the life. So he's going to have to Ame. run himself away. Three stacks, four stacks. And uh, FY, FY is going to get taken down. Nova trying to run himself oh, away. Sticks. DY is looking for that opening. Can he find it? He'll be able to get another kill. And they'll turn their attention over onto the next. Should be able to clean up. No, but the yes, Impale goes go. out. Is he going to stay alive? DY, God, the glimpse comes out again. Trying to juke himself away. That one hand run on him. Run away run. from the hand. You got the golden run, hand. Brother. Don't let run. him get you. Don't. I know you run. want a Midas, but that's not a Midas hand. He's all right. With that rage, he does survive. But that was super close for Ami. That would have been. Seems to have his number though. Oh, there's no stuns. He might die. There. Yeah. But uh, who cares about stuns when you got damage? He's doing like 550 a hit. Pleb chased in towards the tier three. He's Ami getting tossed up and lands on a thud. Two. Three, four, and he's done for. P1 shredded, Pleb gets the dismember off, but in comes Y, keeps the bristle back topped up, and Arme, he is gunning for more, he wants the ultra kill. Come here, Malik, you look tasty, you do. Give me the ultra, or Armand the Armand Toggle, Toggle. Still gonna be an ultra kill, and the, yeah, gotta give him respect. He wanted to give him the rampage, maybe in the end wants to get out, but yeah. Yeah, double double. Well, Puck, jump down. Yeah, Amy is actually focusing now on objectives, beating into the tier 3 tower, getting rid of this. It's daytime now as well, so Yao's sustain to this team fight is, is insane. Everybody heals up. Never ending spam, never ending vision. And I'm wondering how long it's going to take before Infamous just agrees that this game is done. Because LGD, like, it would take a miracle to win this, and maybe they can find it. You got your first. It's the faceless void Chrono, but Jakira was too far away and didn't have Macro Pyre available. Dream Call RP is down. They're looking for the damage. The BKB protecting Tomato. Now it's up to the Snowball to do it. They pull them all in, but two are constrained away. Triple kill when everyone's that close. The cleave is even easier. And Phantom Assassin will end this game. 13 1 4 14 14 1 4. Phantom Assassin. Three corrections. Half quicker than the average as well. Looking to go in and have the Rolling Thunder. They'll go after Mira, but he'll rebound away. So a lot, though. Mira on the run. Viper Strike through onto nothing to say. He's got to be careful, and so does Zinq. They've got the Storm Hammer, Avalanche on a four, as well as the Swashbuckle landing on these heroes. They've got the Sprout. They have the control. They look over Toronto. Took you the rebound once again. Nothing to say he doesn't have the Rolling Thunder. He already went in with the Shield Crash, but he's got the save from Y with the Shallow Grave. Swashbuckle Be getting careful. Toronto Tokyo very low. They've got the Sprout with the Force Staff, which is actually the Hurricane Pike to get away. Unstable Concoction, the Storm Hammer out on Ame, but they've got the Disarm out of the Sven. They're looking maybe to get the Remnant back into the fight, but their Space Beyond behind them all goes into Toronto Tokyo. They get the Code of Mira. They've got the Ice Pen Thunder too, but it's not going to matter. Yaturo is gone. But Mushka, he's only going to survive for a little bit longer as they are in on this Jakiro, and it's a triple kill for Ame. Worst case scenario. Still getting his wards down. Maybe. Well, this could be a kill into maybe here. Evil Genius is only going to try and go for this one. Well, in comes the epicenter. The blink, the burrow strike. It does come through. They're trying to take down this mile as quickly as possible. He is getting low. Artizi comes in. As will get the kill. But now on the back lines, Chalice. He's actually locked up as well here. Being held still by Crit. It's a beautiful rolling thunder, but Ruby also rolling through. He's going to hold down too. The mail is actually going to drop here as they turn around onto S4 as well. Also disappears the waveform force onto a fly fly trying to get up onto the high ground. But there is no escaping Arme. Artizi on the run, running backwards into their own base. X Nova is chasing. Can he actually do this right now? He's he's gonna have the Rolling Thunder. FY around the other side with a burst strike forwards. And now the Rolling Thunder gonna connect. No, never mind. Oh, he stunned him. Keep still, RTZ through the trees right now. He's gone. RTZ taken out. A great cool as well. LGT up. Got one ward where the Razor is right now, and that's what Collapse is going to use. In with a Storm, Faith Beyond low. They should be able to bring the Razor down, and LGD just hands in the air, back up and evade. Or, or do they? They're rolling in. They're finding the Bloodseeker. They've got the magic damage to pummel him, even through the cold embrace. And now Jin Q trying to get in on top of the rest of them. Not quite latching, but a six. Oh, oh he was no! trying to go for the curse, gets oh, back. Oh, He tried, but he failed. Falling short of the mark, and Storm Spirit Yule's stunned and dead!
He tried to go for relocate, but there's too much damage coming out, and now your buildings OG. are exposed. Well, they still had Fly, and they would build up these drafts where they had Io and Dazzle and Huskar, and they have you know, Wyvern, multi layers of support. You go on one that saves the other, that saves the other, and right now, nothing to say, he knows he has so much backup. He dives to tier 4 towers. He's able to turn and fight, because he's still got the Shadow Wave, the Heal, the Grave, everything on top of him to keep him alive. They've killed Misha. Tiger, he's not going to survive. Navi Siren will dive in behind the barracks. They finish off the buildings, and LGD cruising towards victory at this point. OG will now look towards the Nagasar and eyes on army. There's the coil snap. They blow up one. Y is dropped, but the Winter's Curse straight onto Amar. Take the Slardar down. Has Arme stands his ground, healed up by the Cold Embrace, but this time OG. Big ulti. They should be able to find a couple of quick kills, but Yuragi, oh, he can't contend with his Naga illusions. Oh, Arme, he just won me threeing them at this point. Nothing to say, will arrive back in, and Tiny punches down the TA. I don't believe this. Arme is still alive. This might be, they were not able to oh, take you're down. You're gonna get all of that health left, health back right in. Here we go. And here we have Meta popped again. Oh, Carlos in position. Oh, the man. skewer back with the horn toss set up into the oh. RP, but no! Press the attack, waveform is enough to bait out the RP. And T1, see if they want to try to take advantage of this. I mean, they're gonna have to if <laughs> this continues to go in LGD's favor with this push. E-Blade on top, you can see the jump in. From nothing to say with an overwhelming blink being shown as Carl has to pop his BKB and there is the duel. Do they have enough damage with a sunder from Ave allowing the duel victory to go the way of nothing to say? He's just gonna walk that one off, but 23 oh, Savage can't so walk that hard. one off. That is just too much damage to withhand. And Carl jumps in. This is gonna be the beginning of the end, I do believe. Although two buybacks come up for T1. And the metamorphosis is running out, but again, he has Demon Seal to work with. Bane's gonna take a tumble, wipe on, drops in the deck as well, one for one. Laguna Blade, Ame getting extremely low. That's just the ages, though. Carl completely out of mana. Nothing to say, is still alive throughout all this, some way, somehow. I'm just gonna play all the pressure to the racks here. This will be a dieback onto Carl. All the and it looks like that there. is gonna be enough to GG out of game one. And like we talked about, Cinder and T1 have looked really good after that. The fact that even has instant with the Agnes. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Chronosphere, seven, seven six, seconds away. Five. They're all grouped together. Do they realize they got the lift up? They need to be able to get this Chronosphere off two seconds away. Can they stun lock up? The save coming with the Astro. They're kind of grouped together for the moment. If they decide to jump out afterwards, the Chronosphere is available. But instead, they're just turning the fight with the BKB. Old 11 catches now onto one, trying to bring him down. Sob is very low, but 11 is just going to drop. Old Chicken manages to bring down one. They're walk forward. Chronosphere onto four is doing a lot of damage. But now Old Chicken FY is there as well. Able to steal away. Chronosphere turns it back, but it's on top of the BKB. BKB. Old Chicken now is just beating the way into her. Now the turnaround coming a second time as Chalice trying to see if they can find that kill. Buyback coming from the line as he's going to be in here in a second. But LGD have already somewhat won this fight. It's only the Shadow Demon and the Lion left. And with that, LGD managed to take it. <laughs> the charge and they're giving up the Roche. That is going to be an Aegis in hand for Beast Coast along with that shard. Full Tatal is finished on Chris Luck. A lot of damage. I mean, it, it, this is normally where the games get decided. And for Beast Coast, this would be their highest placement ever. And for LGD, it'd be the lowest placement since TI6 if they get knocked out at this point. They pass that shard over to Whisper here. Aether Lens finished, and Aegis, actually, on the Batrider. Which is a little interesting. I would think maybe Shadowfiend would want it just to hit buildings or the Chaos Knight, but... Whisper is the easiest to kill. He has no armor, he has not much HP. Oh, he was out. This is a big one if they can get it. Fear buyback. nothing to say. You will center lifted him up, trying to kill him, and they get him. No buyback. 90 seconds, he was just standing there. I don't know. That was a bold place to be. I mean, Fabian was nearby, but it, you know, we're at that point now where there is the big damage, right? We've, we've gotten there. Especially when you know they have that confidence coming up from an, uh, an Aegis like that to just move forward on the map. Nobody has buyback right now for either of these teams. Whisper did buy out for his, which is probably why they give him that Aegis. But I missed that. That, that is a rough one. Very rough. Still six minutes, but the big jump no through. Aegis. No Aegis on Shadow Fiend. That's the price you pay. And now K1 also goes down. Whisper is the only one left alive. LGD. They strike back in the biggest way. All right, just bait. <laughs> Still forces something. Happy. Uh, EG, knowing that the Puck is actually bottom lane, they're going to push out, see if they can catch somebody here. Universe, that is Blink. 
They're gonna go for the Phantom Assassin here. They do manage to land the stun before the BKB, so he's just gonna give up his first life. That's okay, he's gonna come back with BKB and see if he can chase EG. Or are EG gonna feel like they can fight this one? He is actually gonna blink forward and take the easier kill on Yao, potentially, with the trap slowing him down. Universe is just gonna hold on to his Shadow Blade here, sit on the back lines, waiting for his blink. If there's any sort of counter initiation like Victoria coming up here, oh. it's easy. Oh, geez, Zame actually just blows up the Earth Spear, but they do manage to get a jump in from Old Eleven. Unfortunately, he was silenced, so the RP is only gonna be able to catch one, but it is Arteezy. Ame will take that kill. Echo Sam, oh no, it's a little bit late. They do manage to get the stun onto Ame, which buys Sam a little bit of time, but he was Heaven's Halberd during all that, so he just sat there in the Metal Strike, and now he's going to be surrounded by far too many heroes. LGD will actually take four of Evil Geniuses, only losing their Aegis, and... Yeah. <laughs> 